All right, so now we're entering the automations module, and this is where I'm going to show you how you can take all the information that you gather from the Facebook uh, lead forms and have it sent to you directly via email. And there's a lot of other things you can do with it. You can set up uh, different spreadsheets in the cloud. You can have information texted to you. You can set up automation sequences, auto responders. There's the sky's the limit with, with, with the way that we teach this and, and the platform that we use. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to show you uh, exactly how to have an email sent to you in, in live time. So you get that information instantly as soon as somebody's interested in, in the promotion. Um, so the tool that we use to actually automate everything is called Integromat. So you're going to need to sign up for a free account with Integromat. Just go to integromat.com, sign up for an account. It's completely free like some other services, unlike some other services. So you're going to have like services like Zapier or Zapier, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, to have Facebook lead information sent, you're going to have to buy their minimum account. It's either $10 or $20 now. I can't remember um, exactly. I think they raised it to $20. And then the... Um, you know, there's other services out there that'll do the same thing, but they all cost money. So with Integromat, you get roughly 300 leads a month for free this way. So if you're generating more than 300 leads a month, more power to you, but you're going to have to move up to another level. It's only nine dollars. So um, for the for the purposes of, of this promotion, most people are not going to generate 300 leads a month. So it should be absolutely free. Um, so once you sign up for your account with Integromat.com, uh, this is the main screen you're going to see. It's called My Lab, and you can create scenarios in Integromat. And a scenario is basically an automation. So um, it's going to, you know, if one thing happens, then you do another thing, you trigger different events. Uh, so that's what they call the automations are called scenarios. So if you go in the top right corner, you can click on the blue button that says create a new scenario. And then you're going to see uh, this really cool screen it says what services do you want to integrate they make it really easy um it's really just an ingenious platform the way they have it set up uh it's definitely uh very user friendly so we're going to use two different services uh to uh, automate the sending of the email uh, from the lead form so you just type in facebook and then click on the lead ads module and you'll see a check mark so that's good and then we just type email and you click on email and that's it. So go to continue. Now this is where you build a scenario and it looks kind of strange if you've never uh, used the, the program before, but it's actually uh, super intuitive. It's really, really maybe one of the more, more genius platforms out there for this type of type of activity uh, for automating uh, things online. Uh, so if you click on this uh, question mark right here, it asks you what module you want to start with. So we want to start with the lead ad because we're going to be getting the information from the lead ad and then sending it to the email. So we'll start with the lead ad and we're going to do a trigger, which is watch the form filling. So Integra Match is going to constantly be watching to see when somebody fills the, the lead form out and then it's going to trigger the rest of the sequence. So um, where it says webhook here, this is just a webhook is what uh, hooks the two services together. So uh, just click add and then add an account because you, you just signed up for Integra Match. So you don't have your Facebook uh, account hooked up yet. And then my Facebook connection is fine. Click OK. It'll bring a screen up. Now, I've already authorized Facebook in advance to do this. So it just goes right here, uh, just closes the window. You may have to just authorize uh, that it's okay for them to send information from uh, your Facebook page or from the lead form uh, to Integromat. But it's just a one click um, process. And then you can choose the page that you want to get the lead form from. So remember, each lead form is you know connected to a specific page. And we already made the lead form. So um, for that example, we use Cottrell Photographer. So that's where we're going to pull the lead form from. And then you can choose what lead you want. So we made the mini set or the lead form that you want. So we made the mini session form was the one that we created in the video. Um, and then just hit save. And as you see, it spins a little bit. It's good to go. You just hit OK. So now we're going to add another module and I'm going to click right here for the Facebook lead ads again. And this time we're going to click on get a lead gen form. So this module is actually going to gather the information from the lead gen form. Um, so if you see there, the two modules are connected right here, you can move them around. And this means these circles mean that they're connected. Um, so you can just click right on that and then you can choose the account. 
pull the same page up that we used before, so control photographers, the same form, the mini session form. And then when you click here for lead gen ID, it's going to give you um, all of the different attributes that come from the previous module. So the watch the form filling module. So you're just going to click on lead gen ID. It'll fill it in right here and then click OK. That's it. So the last thing we need to do is just create um, the module to send the email. So click on email and we are going to click on an action, which is send a new email. And we're going to connect that to this last uh, this last module here, the Facebook lead forms, make sure they're connected. There you go. Click on the email so we can uh, edit everything. And then in the connection, you can choose. Now, I already have a, um, a Google connection set up. If you don't have anything, it's going to ask you, do you want to use Gmail or, or Google connection? Or do you want to use an SMTP connection, which is just like any other email like outlook.com or if you have your own personal email server? Um, Gmail is free. I feel like almost everybody has a Gmail account at this point. So I just lock it into my, my Gmail account. Um, and that's the account that it's actually going to send the lead from. Um, so just choose whatever, you know, Gmail account you have around, um, whether it be your personal one or your business one, and then save messages after sending is no, you click add a recipient. And that would be, um, your, wherever you want it to be sent to. So your, uh, your email. So, you know, for the purposes of this, I'll just do like demo at mail.com, right? And that's where it's going to be sent. And um, choose whatever. You can choose the same one as it's being sent from if you like. You can choose a different one. But that's where you're actually going to receive the lead. And then as far as the subject, I usually just click on you have a new lead. You want to do that. People like to do that. Or if you want to get a little fancier, you can pull data from that Facebook form. So you could do like, um, let's see, new lead from, and then click on the full name attribute that you have passed through the uh, the Facebook lead ad. So then it would have the, the potential client's name right there. And you can do it that way too. So um, content type, we keep it as HTML. And the content's gonna be the body of the, of the uh, email that's sent to you. So you wanna get all that lead information in the body. Now, um, so what I'll do is I'll do like name, colon, and then I click on full name from the lead ad. Now, it's an HTML form, and this is one thing a lot of people never, <laughs> there's a lot of questions th that we get uh, about this, but it's pretty simple. Um, anytime that you want to have a new line made, you have to use the HTML line break code. Um, so it's uh, right here. It's BR, just like that. And that's the line break code. So it'll start a new line in your email so it doesn't all just run together in one line. And then I'll uh, do like email, colon, click on email, same deal, bracket BR. And then phone number, find the phone number from a leave form. And then lastly, the wedding date, because that's all the information that we're collecting for this, uh, for this campaign. And then what is your wedding date? And that is it. You scroll down. Um, you can do some advanced things as well. Um, if you click on show advanced settings, if you want to copy somebody else on this lead or if you want to do a BCC, you can add them right here. Um, so it's super easy that, you know, this kind of set up however you want. If you have like a team of people, you want to send it to a specific person or, or multiple people, you can do that. Uh, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, then you just click OK. So we have this module that is watching for the, the lead form to be filled out. Then once uh, a lead form is filled out, it activates the sequence. It pulls all the information from the lead form in this module here, and then it sends it to the email module, which then in turn sends it to the email address uh, that you have set up in the format and all the attributes you have set up in the body. Um, and that is it. That's, that's literally it. Um, you can name it whatever you want. You can just call it um, mini session sequence if you like. Um, and then right here is the save button. It's like an old school floppy disk. Just click on that. Uh, it saves everything so you don't lose it. And all you have to do is click right here where it says scheduling. Click on it. It'll say run scenario immediately. Activate. And that's it. You're completely done. Uh, from this point forward, anytime somebody fills that lead form out, it's going to get sent to you in live time via email using this uh, this scenario in Integromat. 
Um, now, if you go back to the main screen, it'll show you down here. We haven't run it yet, but it'll show you every time it's run if you ever have to look back at something for whatever reason. And this is, like I said, the most basic of all um, the scenarios that, that we can do. There's tons of different scenarios that we can run. Um, we can send texts out. We can do follow-up sequences. Uh, we can do uh, timing sequences. Uh, we can send them directly to CRMs. The, the, the sky's the limit. There's actually nothing you really you know can't do on this. Um, so we will have an advanced automations module. Uh, it'll be an add-on. Uh, if there's some other things that you want to do, I'm going to run you through five, six different sequences that we use every day to kind of automate our business. Um, and we'll have that as, a, as an add-on module um, or an add-on course um, in, in the Wedding Marketing Academy if you want to learn more about that. But this will get the, the, the lead to your email in live time. So um, now that we have this implemented, we can you know really start building the campaigns. And then as soon as we have our ads approved by Facebook, you can automatically get that information. So I'll see you in the next module.